Hi everybody, Andy here with eTrailer.com. Let's take a look together at these Diode Dynamics SS3 Sport Flush Mount LED Flood Pod Lights. These three inch LED flood pod lights are going to give you bright light with reduced glare for improved visibility and safety. As you can see, I do have this light currently hooked up to my power source. And what you're currently seeing is one of my favorite features of these lights. It's the backlight, and this is a red backlight. And uh, this is going to be a flush mount installation with the included hardware that you see here. And um, this is going to be a pretty simple install on your bumper or your truck bed. And it's going to give you a, a really nice, clean, factory-style look after you have these installed. You are going to receive templates to help you with that installation and along with uh, instructions. And so um, this, this should uh, not be a real big hassle for you to install once you know uh, right, where, um, it, it, right where you wanna have it. And I wanna go ahead and turn my studio lights off here just to give you a better look at these lights. So I'm gonna back out to my wide view. And of course right now you still see that, that red backlight. And that backlight is going to add a, a, a little bit of a touch of style to your vehicle or add a, a little bit of visibility when you're not using that main beam. Now talking about that main beam, let me go ahead and turn that on. As you can see, that's a big difference there. So we got our backlight again and then our main beam. And that flood pattern is going to be great for lighting up trails at low speeds. So I'm shining that on the wall behind me trying to straighten that out there just so you can see. So hopefully that gives you a pretty good idea of what that flood beam pattern is going to look like. This light has a temperature of 6,000 Kelvin and that cool white color is gonna match most of your factory LED lights. And this has a raw lumen rating of 2,262 lumens and a measured lumen rating of 1,520 lumens and a peak beam intensity of 1,750 candela. Now, even with my studio lights back on, and they are very bright, you can still see just how bright this flood beam is gonna be. Shine that on my wall again. Now, going back in for a close-up view, I mentioned the candela rating. It's 1,750 candela. In case you don't know, candela ratings measure the directional light output and it's how anything is rated where you want light shining in a specific direction. Lumen ratings are just for omnidirectional output, like your regular bulbs where you want light shining in all directions. But for a more detailed description of these ratings, you can visit this product page on our website or Diode Dynamics uh, provides additional information that you can find. So the power draw on that main beam is 1.1 amps. And on the backlight, it's 0.03 amps. And these lights are designed with a newer technology known as custom TIR optics. TIR stands for total internal reflection. So unlike the older technology that uses reflectors or simple projector lenses, which aren't too efficient at focusing all the light where you want it, this custom designed large TIR optic actually collects and then focuses all of that light forward very efficiently. And then instead of having another lens surface, this, is go this uh, actually has lens patterns molded directly into this lens surface. So that's gonna prevent the normal efficiency loss you see with having an additional outside lens. As you might know, when you shine light through any type of glass or plastic, you're going to lose up to 10% of that light just from it shining through. So by making it a part of this lens, you're not gonna lose efficiency, but actually pick some efficiency up. Now this also has the industry standard integrated Deutsch style uh, pigtail connector here. And just like how I have this light right now, that pigtail is going to plug into the back of the light just like that. And then while we're looking at the back of the lights, you can see that we have a breather, a breather patch, and that's gonna be on each of these lights and that's gonna help prevent any moisture buildup. And then these heat sinks, are going to do a great job of dissipating the heat quickly to increase the longevity of these lights. Now these lights have been built with high intensity LED chips and they do feature a durable powder coated aluminum construction and that heavy duty construction is going to do a great job of withstanding extreme temperatures, corrosion and vibration. 
and testing has been completed to SAE standards, just like your factory lighting components on your vehicle. And an interesting note to make, Diodynamics actually uh, designed, engineered, and assembled these lights right down the highway from us at their headquarters here in the greater St. Louis, Missouri area. Let's go over some measurements. Looking at the width first, measuring from end to end, we're sitting at about four and three quarters inches wide. Looking at the height from the top to the bottom, we're sitting about three and three quarters inches tall. And then looking at the width from the front of the light to the end of our heat sinks, we're pretty close to two and three eighths inches deep. Now these lights do draw high current and they do require adequately sized wiring for safe operation. So if you're not using a diode dynamics wiring harness, it is important that you use wiring that's 16 gauge or larger. Now, if these lights aren't exactly what you're looking for, I do want to make you aware of the fact that we do carry a large selection of lights uh, here at eTrailer.com from Diode Dynamics. So if you take a look at those other lights that we offer from them, I'm confident you're going to be able to find just what you're looking for. Well, I think that's going to wrap up our look today. I do hope that our time together has been illuminating for you. Again, my name is Andy. Thank you for joining me.